Hey guys, Davin here at Brewbits. Now, one of the questions we get asked quite a bit is how to use a hydrometer. So, come on in, James, moment. Because we've got a two different hydrometers here. Uh, this one here is used to measure the amount of alcohol in a spirit. And this one is used to measure the amount of sugar in a liquid prior and post fermentation to see if all the yeast have munched away all of the sugar and turned the sugar to alcohol. So, you'll notice, let's go with the this hydrometer first. So this is what's normally called a beer and wine hydrometer. And there's a few different readings on here. So starts up at the top 990 and then 1.000. Okay, so 1.000, then it goes up in tens of the 0 0.00. So 1.010 is this number here, 1.020, 1.030, 1.040, and so on. All the way until we get to 1.0, sorry, 1.100, yeah? Okay, so this is what's called the specific gravity, and if you ever contact us and say, um, I don't know if my wine or my beer is fermenting, one of the first questions we're going to ask you is, have you tested it with a hydrometer? And then we're going to ask you, what's the reading? And this is the reading we're looking for you to give us, is this reading on this scale here. Okay, a couple of other things that's on here. Come on back in, young James, because there's some more little numbers. You might need to you get that, James. So 15, 30, 45. So this is the amount of grams per sugar that is dissolved in your liquid. So it's grams per liter. So from this, you can do simple calculations. So for example, um, if you're at uh, 105 grams per liter, and uh, you want it to be slightly more alcoholic, uh, you can then do a simple calculation to work out how many more grams of sugar you need to add to your liquid to get up to a higher ABV. So this is very good if you're doing things like fruit wines where the fruit's already got a sugar content, but you're not too sure how much sugar it's actually in that uh, fruit. So some years when we're doing our blackberry wines, um, if we use exactly the same amount of sugar every time, then sometimes it'll come out at 12%, sometimes it'll come out at 14%. And that's because of basically the sugar that's within the fruit as well, that's creating this extra sugar within our liquid. Okay, come back on in, James, because then we've got this other measurement. And right at the top, there's pretty much nothing. And then we suddenly start in number 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So this is the potential of how much alcohol will be in your finished product. So, for example, if you put in right at the beginning, before you start fermentation with your yeast, and it sits on 12 then there's a very, very good chance with a wine or a cider that it will actually reach that 12% once it's finished fermenting. Uh, with beer, it's slightly different because there are some complex sugars within beer and those are, there are some non-fermentable sugars within beer which won't ferment out. So it will always leave you with a small amount of sugar in the beer because the yeast can't eat those sugars. Okay, so... The way I'm going to show you how it works is I've got a trial jar here, which is just basically a plastic jar, uh, which neatly fits our hydrometer. So in here, I've got some water, which is about 20 degrees C, because this is the ideal temperature for our hydrometer, is to work at 20 degrees C. And if we drop our hydrometer gently into our water, it should float at 1.000. Now, James, you need to come right down to eye line. That's it. So, so you can see that on the side of the hydrometer, the water is kind of, come back to me, James. The water's kind of doing that. And this is because of surface tension of the water. 
it's trying to go up the hydrometer. So you're reading, if your water level is here, you're not reading what comes off here, you're reading this level. So this is the level of the water. So come on back in, see if you can zoom into this, James. So let's pop out a little bit. You kind of see what I mean? It's quite difficult to show you, but the water kind of rises up where it actually meets the tube. But you need to get your eye right down and that's at the water level that you're trying to read. Okay, right, so now we know that. Back to me, James. We know this is water and water comes out at 1.000. So as I said to you, the hydrometer is actually measuring the amount of sugar that we've got in our liquid. So here is a simple thing. We'll take some sugar, we'll add it to our water, and we'll dissolve it. So now our sugar's dissolved. Let's put this back in. So what effectively the sugar's done, remember science classes from school, is now made the liquid more viscous because there is the same amount of liquid, but there is something dissolved in it. And hey presto, one dessert spoon in 100 ml of water has now raised the specific gravity. And right down, James, you can see it's coming out 1.040. So on our scale, this helps us out. If this was wine or cider, we can now say 1.040 if we roll the hydrometer around, that's telling us there is 105 grams of sugar per litre. And if this ferments out fully, i.e. to 1.000, there will be approximately 6% alcohol within this liquid, if once we've added our yeast model. So that's really what the readings on a hydrometer mean. Okay, on this specific hydrometer, this is the beer and wine hydrometer. So remember, the beer and wine hydrometer tells you how much sugar is in a liquid. Uh, if it was water, it should be showing at 20 degrees C, 1.000. And then the more sugar you add, depending on how much sugar is in your water, you will, or your wine, uh, you will find that the hydrometer will raise up. Now, once your wine or cider has finished, you may find, is it 1.000? Or even, it may drop down further than that. Why would it drop down further than that when the yeast have eaten all the sugar? The yeast don't just eat sugar, the yeast now carry on eating other things within the wine and the cider and the bit. Um, and so they consume other things and the, the liquid now becomes even less viscous. And so the hydrometer drops down even further. Okay, there's no more sugar to eat, but um, there are other compounds that the, the yeast love to munch on, and they do a fantastic job of changing some of the flavors within your wines and your, your beers and your, um, your ciders. They actually change some of those funky flavors. If you've ever made a cider, you might sometimes smell a bit of a farmyard smell. Now, here in Somerset, we get a lot of farmyard smells, and trust me, it's not a nice smell, a really sulfurous smell. But if you leave it a little bit longer, the yeast munch away at those funky smells, and they go, totally gone, and you end up with a really good scrumpy cider. So hopefully, that's giving you an insight of how a beer and wine hydrometer works. So, the other hydrometer that I've got here is a spirit hydrometer. So a spirit hydrometer, not to be mixed up with a beer and wine hydrometer, it's got a very, very different scale. This measures the amount of alcohol in a liquid. And as long as the liquid doesn't have anything like added sugar or um, added juices to it, it's very, very good. So I could drop this into a bottle of 40% whiskey and it should float at the 40% scale just to give you an idea. If I was to put this hydrometer into sugared water, it's gonna give me a very, very false reading. Come and have a look at this, James. It's not even gonna give me any reading whatsoever. It's not even gonna read zero because there is sugar in that water. This hydrometer is not designed for measuring 
how much sugar is in a liquid. It's designed for measuring how much alcohol is in a liquid. So, over here, I have got a liquid. Is it in a bottle? Ooh. So this liquid used to be sugar and water, and it was fermented out. And then this liquid was put into a still. You can see it's dropping, dropping, dropping. Whee. And this liquid was distilled. And you can see there's nothing else in this liquid apart from water and alcohol. And that's coming out at about, what, 74, 75% ABV? So this is for measuring the amount of alcohol in the liquid. As long as that liquid doesn't have any added sugars or any added extras. So hopefully that's given you an insight into the two different hydrometers and how to read them. And they read in both exactly the same way. You drop it down and you take a reading horizontally of what the ABV is. If you look down at it like that, what is in the liquid, you're gonna get a false reading. Okay, so our beer and wine hydrometer and our spirit hydrometer, two very, very similar objects. They look exactly the same, but they do very, very, very different jobs. Okay, any questions, pop them in the comments below and I'll try and answer them for you.